I teach academic and professional skills uh, in the AI program. First year students, first course they get. And it's about personal and communication skills, writing and public speaking, like it is in so many programs at a university. And the core question for me, and probably for many of my fellow teachers, is how to teach these skills, or actually how to help students acquire those skills themselves, uh, because these are largely skills you mostly learn in daily life, in and outside the course, in and outside university, and actually now and later during their career, uh, they basically need to keep working on these skills because it's not something that comes within one single course. What they basically need for that is a clear idea of what they can learn and how they can acquire it and work on it and how they can talk about it with other students. Towards that end, I try to find four things. First of all, I try to come to a shared vocabulary, a vocabulary on what things there are to learn such that students can talk about it. Second, I try to come to some guidelines for students, how they can work on it, as a starter uh, for working on it themselves. Thirdly, I wanted to give students customization options because students in many ways uh, differ on what skills they want and need to learn given their current situation. And fourthly, I wanted a good option for them to give peer and self-feedback and for me to give them feedback all within one coherent system. And that, in the end, result, uh, resulted in the skill deck, uh, which you probably, or hopefully, now also have in your hands, uh, which I'll shortly explain uh, to you now. Uh, let's start with the box outside. If you look at the outside of the box, you can write your name down here, and it's really your own personal skill deck, as it's meant to be. Uh, and then you can take a look at the colors. You have on the one side, you have bright colors, on the other side, dark colors. Uh, and the bright colors refer to personal skills, the dark colors to uh, communication skills. Uh, and here you see the icons, which will also come back uh, within the cards themselves later on, uh, which refer to the different groups of skills. Let's have a look at the inside. So if you open the box, uh, you find a lot of cards, again, with the same colors as you saw on the outside. But first we have some light gray cards, which are explanation cards, which I warmly invite you to read, which, which I will ignore for now. Then we have a set of skill check cards, uh, which we will return to shortly and other explanation cards. And then we come to the group skills. Here you recognize the icons of the outside of the box. We have a group skill for developer skill, a, a personal skill, uh, develop and thinker, networker, organizer, achiever, and chase maker. These are six groups of personal skills uh, where students can work on. And the same we have for writing and public speaking. We have a card about the content of a text, a card about the structure of a text or a talk, uh, the experience of the audience or the reader, uh, the professionalism, so how professional does it come across, the actual quality of the text, and uh, uh, the quality of the talk. And these words you see here on top are the uh, group skill names. What's on the bottom are all the individual skills. And this gives students a vocabulary to talk about it, it gives me a vocabulary as a teacher to talk about it and explain it to them, uh, hence hopefully leading to a shared understanding of what we're talking about. Second, for guidelines, we go to the individual cards. So here we, for example, have four cards to, which describe the individual skills that belong to the developer group uh, or, or class. So we have self-reflection, asking questions, asking help, learnability. And on each card, there's a short description uh, how students can work on it and what it means to have this skill and develop this skill. And that's also true for, if we look at the writing and public speaking, for example, for the content of a text or talk, uh, the, whether it actually abides to the goal, whether it's the right depth and breadth, um, whether it's actually factual and whether it's actually proper science. That are all, again, individual skills belonging to the uh, group skill uh, for content, offering them guidance when they're preparing the, check, uh, the text and talking about the text, hopefully improving their text and talks uh, while doing so. Thirdly, uh, to allow for some customization, students can actually write on the cards. So at the back, they can uh, write down feedback they got, any hints or tips they found anywhere, such to make it really their own deck. Towards the end, they can also sort the deck, uh, take cards out, hang cards on the wall, anything that works for them. Uh, allowing them for customization and making the deck tailored to what they need and who they are. Fourthly, to allow for feedback, I'll use the skill check cards and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so these are the skill check cards. And if you lay them out, this is the explanation card. We have four cards. 
Uh, and now I have the, the A side up, uh, where they actually reflect relatively how well you worked on something. So this uh, says, uh, I didn't work on it, I intended to work on it, I worked on it a bit, and I worked on it a lot. And that is specifically meant to be used as self-reflection uh, on how well you worked on skills, either consciously or unconsciously, whether you actually learned anything about it over the last couple of weeks or months. So for example, I could ask the students, or students could ask themselves, how well did I work on my learnability, on being open to change and developing myself? Oh, actually quite a bit. Asking help, okay, now I find that really hard, uh, and I still really struggle with it. I want to change, but it doesn't really work. Asking questions, yes, I work a lot on that by really forcing myself to asking questions in the lecture and afterwards. And self-reflection, uh, yeah, this course kind of asks it, from, asks it for me, so I better do it. So I actually quite do that quite a lot. Students then can use these cards for further discussion, can discuss with other students. They often write a reflection, uh, why they think it is uh, the way it is, which are quite often quite deep reflections. Uh, and on top, uh, they can calculate a score if needed. And to calculate a score, you take the, the number that's here, the zero, uh, and you multiply it with the number of cards. Zero plus one third times one plus two third times one, etc. And in this way, you can calculate the score for how well you have been working on, for, for example, this specific set of skills. And the same we can do for writing and public speaking skills. Then we flip the cards. And now they actually reflect the absolute quality rather than how well you worked on them. So say I'm uh, reflecting on my text or my talk, uh, and I want to check how well I did uh, science-wise. Okay, mm -hmm. it's okay. I, I, yeah, it's okay. Uh, factual is actually really good. Um, it's, it's pure uh, grounded in uh, clear literature and uh, no uh, dispelt or anything else. Um, uh, the scope is more, it's a bit shallow, so that could be better. But I do uh, stick uh, really well actually to the goal uh, that was set out in the assignment or in the paper. And again, we can use the same uh, scoring system and we can use the same talking about the cards and discussions uh, to come to a deeper understanding of uh, whether we're doing well or not. Okay, so in summary, the cards uh, allow for a shared vocabulary by defining all these skills and groups of skills. Guidelines by uh, putting text on them, explaining their skills. Uh, customization by it being a deck and allowing students to write on it. And a feedback system uh, with the uh, skill check cards. That is how I use it now in my course. And I still find new ways to use it and I also find ways that don't work. In practice, I see sometimes really deep uh, um, self-reflections by students based on sorting the personal cards. I also see groups of students uh, basically specializing in a specific part of the text, a specific um, skill of the text to uh, help other students work on those specific skills. But I also see things that don't work. It's work in progress. Uh, and for that, I actually warmly invite any feedback from students and also really from you. I'm really curious what you think about the specific skills I chose, what you think about the specific way I, we use the system, uh, the specific, I don't know, the colors, the, how it looks, or any other ways I could improve it and it may be actually made more useful maybe even for you, as this is actually something you could also quite easily make yourself if you want. As Teaching a Learning Center, we are really curious what you would think should be in a deck for teachers and education directors. So what are the core skills that define our Radboud University teaching? What should every one of us at least be aware that they should be able to do, uh, both as teacher and as director? If you have suggestions um, for a teacher skill deck, or education director skill deck, or any feedback or input uh, on the skill deck, uh, how it now is, please let us know uh, on the link below. And with that, I thank you for your attention. I hope the deck can offer some inspiration for you and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.